Hi, welcome to Barney Tech Channel. Hi, in this section, we are going to see about the reactive power compensator in power system. Mainly, here we are going to see about SVC and STATCOM. First, we will see about SVC. Through step down transformer, one side is connected through power system and other side is connected with parallel harmonic filter and, and TSC and TCR. Where TSC is a thyristor switched capacitor and TSR is a thyristor control reactor. If you see the operation of TSC, it will get switched on when the power system having the lagging power factor and want to improve the power factor into normal. When the power factor goes down, then TSR will get on and it reduces the power factor into normal. Now we will see about the workings of SVC. Let us consider there is a sudden loss in load. Due to this, the power factor lead during this time. Then the SCR will get switch on and reduce the power factor to normal. Once the power factor come to normal, the SR will get turn off. On the other hand, if the power factor get lag due to high inductance load, during this time, and TSC will get on and increase the power factor. Once it come to normal, then this switch will get turned off. From this, we can clearly understand SVC working with switching operation with the help of TSR and TSC with respect to their power factor. Now we will see the STATCOM. The full form is static synchronized compensator. Now we will see the construction. One end of the coupling transformer is connected with power system and the other end is connected with voltage source converter with DC capacitor. Now we will see the working principle of STATCOM. Let us consider there is sudden loss of load due to this the power factor lead during this time. The voltage source converter get on and inject the source into the system with the corresponding phase angle and magnitude. Once the power factor come to normal, then VSC will get off. On the other hand, if the power factor get lag due to inducting load, during this time also, the voltage source get on and inject reactive source into the system with the corresponding phase angle and magnitude and increase the power factor. Once it get normal, the switch will get turn off. From this we are clearly understand STATCOM working with injecting power source into the power system. Now to make it, it very simple, let us consider this water base. When the water level is goes down, the water is pumped into the system and make the water level stable. In other case, if the water get rise, during this time, the water is taken out and it to maintain the water in same level. Similarly, in power system, if power lag or lead, then the compensator will compensate this lag and lead power factor and make it into unity power factor and make the system stable. Now we will see the difference between SVC and state comp. SV, the main part of SVC is TSC and TSR for us for state com is VSC and DC capacitor. Second, the basic working method for SVC is adjusting the reactive power output by switching the TSC or TSR. Whereas for state com, adjusting the reactive power output by varying the magnitude and phase angle of the output voltage of VSC. Third, the operation of control voltage for SVC is limited by voltage level. Whereas for STATCOM, it is widely dependent on DC voltage of the capacitor and the reactive of coupling transformer which was connected in power system. The fourth one, the responsing time. That means the quick responsing time for SVC is in millisecond whereas STATCOM is in microsecond very fast the fifth one for SVC the harmonic filter is must we need to install the harmonic filter because it produce more harmonic into the system whereas the set comp 
if you add more compensating equipment then we have to install it otherwise no need for stat comp the next one is the dc component and voltage ripple in the power system due to svc is very very less when compared to stat comp stat comp has a dc capacitor may cause the relative voltage ripple and dc component also into the power system and finally we go for comparing with cost svc is less cost when compared to stat comp now we will see the advantage and disadvantage of the compensator the advantage is it improve the voltage regulation increase the power factor transfer capacity improve the power system stability and power factor correction is also done automatically due to maintaining of power factor it reduce the losses also when we see the disadvantage even though it have the many advantage it also have the disadvantage the disadvantage is if we have additional component or if the designing is wrong then it inject more reactive power into the system next the installation cost is high then the maintenance also it takes very high we have to often go for maintenance this and also it have very difficult to maintain the power factor during the dynamic change in load it have the very challenging for to maintain the power factor and finally due to the switching operation it produce the harmonic into the system i hope this section will be useful for you all thank you for watching this video we came to the end of this section see you on next video if you like this section then please share to your friends and colleagues take care and bye from barnitech channel thank you for watching this video